Hey everyone, today I want to show you um, the basics of how to build a smartphone game app with Construct2. So the first thing you're going to need is you want to download Construct2. Construct2 is an HTML5 JavaScript and Java libraries. That's what it uses in the background. However, it's a very user-friendly app. Uh, or I shouldn't say app, very user-friendly software for actually building games. It uses, um, all you really need is images and audio, and then just a basic understanding of um, some languages. Um, and where do you get it? Well, it's right here. So they make Sierra, makes the uh, software, and you have a free download or you can buy it. Um, I would just use a free uh, download for now until you get familiar with actually building your own games. And you can do a lot of different games. Have, um, it's more geared towards platform type gaming. Um, but it's a really good tool. So I would go ahead and download Construct2 and start building your game. Um, once you have a game built and you know, you're, you've tested it using the Construct2 um, software, the next thing you're going to want to do is you have two options of how to package that app, that game app, um, for submitting to iTunes or Apple. So you have two different ways of doing it. One is using a Apache Cordova CLI, and the other is using Intel XDK. I prefer Cordova CLI. The reason for it is um, it's just it's, you can do everything locally. I don't really want to use Intel, and you'll see why later. Um, however, Cordova CLI um, can be quite the pain in the ass to set up. But once it's configured and set up and you're able to compile, it's quite nice. Um, so anyways, <coughs> let's go through the path of using Cordova CLI to package your game, which you've built it with Construct2. Now, one of the first things I want to let you know is if you just use Construct or Cordova and compile the game, it probably isn't going to play right. It's going to be really slow. And one of the things is that Con Construct2, it relies on something called Crosswalk. So you'll need to um, and you'll need to find Crosswalk and get that in Cordova. So let's just open up the web browser again. So you can get Cordova right from here, cordova.apache.com. You can also, then you'll need to download Crosswalk, and you'll need to use that as a plugin within your game. So the next thing, Let's go take a look at Cordova. Oops, went too far. So Cordova CLI, if you want to build an Android-only app, you just need any computer. You'll need to download the Android Studio. And the Android Studio, again, is open this up here. You can get the Android Studio. Here it is. Developer.android.com. And you just need to download it. The reason you need the Android Studio is for some of the libraries that it has and different there's different packages and sort of things that your game will need and Cordova will also need to package the game. You'll actually not really need to open the studio ever because um, Cordova will just be referencing it. But you do need to download it so you can actually package the Android app. Now, if you want to build um, Android and or Apple together, you'll need a Mac. <clears throat> because Windows, it can't compile Mac. However, Mac can compile Android. So if you have a Mac, you can compile an Android phone game, and you can also uh, compile package a Apple app. So <clears throat> to do that, if you don't have a Mac, you can use something called Mac and Cloud. Mac and Cloud is a um, online uh, VM software. Uh, basically, you would log into a Mac server, a uh, virtual machine, and you could build all your code there. Um, so I'm going to show you that real quick. It's called Mac and Cloud, and it's really nice. They're um, fairly cheap, like about $20 to $25 uh, a month, and that gives you access to a Mac to compile all your code on for iTunes if you don't own a Mac. Now. Once you decide whether you have a Mac or don't, um, you need Xcode. 
you'll need Xcode software um, to take your files that Cordova CLI produces and you'll need the Xcode to actually package it to send out. And let's just take a quick look here. If you use Mac and Cloud, it al they already have it installed. But if you have your own Mac, you'll need to go to developer.apple.com and you'll need to download it. Okay, so that's using Cordova CLI. You'll need to have Cordova to build the, um, produce the files and you'll need uh, Xcode and Android to package it. So <clears throat> the next option we have if you don't want to use Cordova CLI because it's maybe too hard to set up or it's just really annoying, um, the other option you have after you export your files from Construct2 is to use Intel XDK. Intel XDK is a software made by Microsoft, I believe, or Intel. Um, and what you do is you export your files from Construct into Intel XDK. You do some configuration, and you normally only have to do those configurations once, once per app. Um, once you have that done, you hit build or package, I can't remember what they call it. And what it does is it sends your files out to their server. Their servers then compile and package the files and then they send you a link where you can go and download them to test on your phone. Or you can say, I don't want to download them, I want to upload them right to iTunes and Play Store for submitting to the stores and get people to use them. Now the reason I don't like this one is because, <clears throat> well, the smallest app that you'll have is 21 megs, megabits in size. If I had to upload that to the Intel server every single time I want to test one of my changes, I'd be like, it would take me months to build an app because my internet's not, not that fast, and 21 megs takes like anywhere from, from you know five to 15 minutes to upload to the server, and then I have to wait for the server to build it, and once the server's done building it, then I have to download it. Like, another again to my computer that just takes too time too too long um, I like to test the phone you know my app on the phone um, I would say about once an hour as I'm developing because you may something you make that works in a web browser with construct 2 doesn't always work on the phone so you need to keep testing the phone to keep make sure it's gonna be correct you don't want to spend a month building something and find out it doesn't work at all. Um, so I don't really like this Intel XDK way um, just because of that. It's too slow to actually you know, build a file to test with. However, it is very good if you don't own a Mac <coughs> um, because they build it for you, which is very nice. Anyways, <coughs> that is the end of the tutorial. Um, I will put up on the web, actually in the description, sorry, I'll put up these links right here of where you can download, you know, Construct and Cordova and all that. And go ahead and, and the uh, first thing I would do is just download Con Construct 2 and play around with it, look at their tutorials and get it going. Uh, but I'll submit all these links onto the description so you guys can see it. Um, don't forget to, to subscribe to the how-to videos. Um, also, if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I'll definitely get back to you. Anyways, thanks all.